Hello everyone, this video is continuation of previous video. So let's go into the update management. So now we see all three machines and all of them are in compliance. So we have applied all the patches for VM3, VM2 and VM1. So VM1 and 2 are Azure VM and uh, 3 is on-prem. And uh, so if you look into deployment schedule, uh, there is the on-prem VM and the patch schedule. So this on-prem VM is the schedule that uh, we have created for uh, the on-premise VM, which is the VM3. Similarly, how we created for the Azure VM. So uh, we have uh, applied all the patches for this VM as well, which is, um, yeah, so here if you see a VM3 dash on trim that we have deployed in a, another region. So, um, so we have two schedule, one for uh, on premise and uh, the second one for Azure VMs. So runbook is uh, sim uh, something which we have seen in the previous video. And runbook gallery, this is the schedule for uh, both the Azure and on-premise VM. So we have scheduled the on-premise VM in this uh, uh, time slot. And similarly, the one which we have seen in the previous video. So these were the options. Uh, so we can also uh, configure a start stop VMs and the account settings, automation and configuration for pricing. So we can see the jobs that is completed. So all these jobs were completed and we can also um, check the uh, status the logs and if there was any error so if there was any warning so all those logs we can find so this is the schedule that we have created for the um, azure vms so uh, in the output we can check what has been uh, you know um, all the jobs that were uh, performed So also we can see if there was any error and there is a warning tab and here we can see all the logs starting from uh, the Windows patches applied. So it will just uh, generate the log from that time and if there was any prescript or postscript or if we have uh, included or uh, excluded. So all these tips we can find it here. Okay, so if we just click on load more and uh, we could see all the updates. So it's completed ending update run as machine has already rebooted and no additional reboot required. It's option. Okay, so this is the another job that we have uh, created for the on-premise VM. So we can see the uh, the job name and errors, warning. So similarly, we can see all the logs when this patching started and if there was any updates which we have excluded and the reboot required. So some patches might require the reboot. So anyway, we have selected always reboot to get the machine rebooted after the patch and ending update. Okay, so those were the um, all the jobs for uh, on-premise and Azure VMs. <coughs> so this is the activity log. So we can see what are the activities 
have been done and uh, who has initiated that activity.